Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to take down the Black Ox Beetles. They're really not too bad. As with most things, it's just knowing their attacks and uh, not letting their size be the thing that, that intimidates you and scares you away from them. They're really not too bad. They've got a lot of help. They're, you know, for lack of a better term, bullet sponges. So they're real tanky. The attacks they do are slow. And the thing is they do a ton of damage, but they are slow. So if you're patient and you just take the shots that you're given, and otherwise you stay on the defense, you'll be okay. If you pull up your data on the Black Ox Beetle, you'll see it's resistant to chopping, stabbing, and slashing. So that leaves you with only busting. It's gonna resist damage while it has a ton of health. So unless you're really committed to it, avoid the chopping, stabbing, and slashing. Um, unless you have one like really mega leveled up and that's just what you use, it'll get the job done. I've, I've taken these things down with the mosquito needles. It's no problem. They're weak to busting and salty, so I like to show you how to take these things down without using max stuff, you know what I mean? Because I don't think that really helps you. I think that's a little disingenuous. But first and foremost, you need to know where to find them. That's a picnic table. That's a charcoal grill, right? And they're up in the upper end of the yard. Back left corner back there, you got the termites and uh, all that business. If you pull up the map, it, they're up in here. There's like these deep ravines and they kind of just they walk around in there patrolling. They're real easy to find. So in order to get up there, you gotta have antlion gear to get through the spicy, you know, hot area. But uh, otherwise, you can do what I did. This took me just, you know, like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Because most of what you need is all right here. I just built a uh, series of steps that take me up. And then that way I don't have to, like, have the antlion gear on me at all time, taking up space in my inventory. I can just walk right up here. And I have a itty bitty tiny little outpost here just for the very basic needs. You can always just reset your spawn point as well. That way if the thing does kill you, you're good to go. So you can always just like build a little lean to, nothing fancy. So there's usually one prowling right down, to, yeah, he's right there, see him? He's right down there. The only problem is I don't like aggroing the larva guys because they're just annoying and they can make you burn. Well, and that's what I didn't want to happen. Let's go ahead and take down the little uh, larva first. So you kind of want to make sure that the area is clear before you start fighting the beetles. Alright. I actually have my axe out still. Okay, so his lateral attacks, where he's shaking his head and stuff, those are the ones that happen quickly. Most of them, like, he's gonna wind up. Look at this. So easy. Plenty of time. And he does that move. I don't... Oh, okay, so now you're getting his, his, like, full inventory. He just did four in a row that were different attacks. He's got the charge one. He's got his... There. That's his, That's all of his attacks. You just saw all of them. <clears throat> he does these lateral ones, which if you're playing with a group, they gotta look out for. Because a lot of times they'll they'll try to like flank him on the sides and then he'll do the lateral attacks and hit your buddies who are on the sides then he's got this one where he throws a rock at you they're all really slow though you see so i'm not like going hard here or anything i just wanted to show you guys like just be patient a lot of people will try to rush these things and that's when they get in trouble I'm just using a black ant shield as well. Now I will tell you that if you do play the slow patient game with a black ant shield, you're gonna wanna make sure you've got more black ant parts on hand at, at your base. <laughs> because the, these guys will chew through your shield pretty quickly. Two or three of these fights and you're gonna be ready to have a new shield. Oh. So we've got him down to like He's just over half right now. And I could be I could be a lot more reckless than I'm being right now, too. I'm not even using the hammer either. He's backing that dump truck booty up. But if you let him hit you too many times, you're gonna start feeling it for sure. Oh, he's stunned. He's really weak. Oh, we aggroed another one.
I really just want to take this first one down real quick. One more hit. Yeah, he's toast. Ah! It looked like he just like yeeted the other one. That's like a two for one special here, isn't it? A little two for one. Where'd you? What? What the? Is he still alive? He is. He's still alive. What in the world? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Well, there you have it. I'm not. This guy's a weird. That's how you take these things down. They're really not too bad, like I said. Slow and steady wins the race, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Oh, we got some tough gunk off that one too. Lovely, I just probably don't need spoiled meat, I suppose. I'm gonna go ahead and take this second one down though while I'm here. Now you've seen all of his moves, I don't need to showcase him. We can just be a little more aggro here. There, it's another one dead. One more tough gunk, three more black ox hearts. Lovely. That's how you do it. I didn't mean to do that. That's uh, that's all she wrote, folks. It's that simple. They're really not too bad. They do big damage, but they're real slow. So if you take it slow, it'll be okay. And I like to do it up here because it's a, it's a nice controlled environment, right? A lot of open space up here on these rocks. Makes it a little bit easier to manage. When you've got all the tall grass stalks in the way, sometimes it's hard to read his tells and see his movements. Hopefully now you're... A little more aware of what they do. So again, his different attacks are, if he puts his head down in the ground, he's gonna throw a rock at you. You can sidestep it, you can parry it. If you parry it, it will still knock you backwards. So don't stand right on the edge, right? Because it'll throw you off. Other than that, he has these lateral ones where he goes one, two, and then shakes his head for a third. If he rubs his foot on the ground like a bull, he's about to charge. And sometimes he'll just turn around and try to hit you with his butt. It's weird. I don't know why that's an attack, but it is. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.